What's up guys, it's Travis Brady. So I like to do a little Q&A uh, with other businesses, coaches, mentors, consultants, or just leaders. And so uh, I got a question from Janet. Janet said, I know I need to post on social media. However, I feel like I'm bugging people. Uh, I had a friend and a family member mention something like my stuff was annoying and why am I posting this? I'm trying to get into coaching and I know I need to post more. However, I feel very um, unenthusiastic about posting. Yes, I think we have all uh, felt like that before, that we're bugging people, we're annoying the shit out of people by sharing what we're doing and inviting people, right? Um, I know I have uh, felt like that uh, many times over the years and I feel like that's stuff that happens especially when you first start get going, right? Is you, you're always insecure, right? It's like going to the gym, you're looking around Who's watching me? Who's looking at me? Who's who's watching me pick up the 15 pound dumbbells? Who's making fun of me, right? At the end of the day, I feel like everyone feels like that. Everyone's looking behind their own back. And so if we're all doing that, are we really paying attention to what other people are doing? And some of you might say, yeah, <laughs> we are. And to that I say, who gives a shit? Janet, you got to post. You, you went in the coaching you went into influencing for a reason, and that's to serve people, that's to help people. And so every time someone comes up uh, against something like this in their business where they're afraid to post, they're afraid to put their heart out, they're afraid to be vulnerable, essentially it's a form of selfishness. And I think I've mentioned this uh, prior times, not saying that you're selfish, Janet, just saying that the problem you're experiencing is about you. It's about how do people think about you? And I know that you went into business to actually serve and help other people. And so that's what you got to focus on is you got to focus on serving and helping other people. And at the end of the day, if, if they're really bugging you that bad um, or they're getting in your head, just delete them. Just, just end it. You know, you're, you're here to serve. You don't have to, you don't have to make everybody happy. And the, and the thing is you won't make everybody happy, right? There's well, over 370 million I don't know the exact number, maybe it's 270 million. There's a lot of people in the United States, right? And even think about the world. You can't get caught up in what one person thinks. You can't get caught up in whatever they think about you. Because when you let this hater, this person hold you back, essentially you're letting down all the people that can use your services, that can benefit by what you're saying. And... It, you know, and as I think more about this, um, it's it's a chance for you to get more real with yourself too. Maybe maybe you're being kind of ticky tacky. Maybe you're dancing around what you really want to say. I know when we're more passionate, and we're more heartfelt when we say things, and we're less in our head and more in our heart. It comes off more influencing. We're able to persuade people more. And so maybe the biggest problem right now is you are being too passive about everything and you just need to go hard. You're either in or you're out. You're either in or you're out. There's no in between. You're either winning or you're losing, right? And so get out of your head, get into your heart and post what needs said. Make an invitation, invitation to people. Start inviting people to your events or your workshops or your group or whatever you happen to be offering right now for, for free value or for your freebie offer, all right? Janet, the world needs you, okay? Be next gen, go all the way in and post it.